All right, here we are at the Readin booth with co-founder and designer Damien. How you been? Oh, awesome. Good to see you. Very good, very good. Yeah. To be here in, uh, in the hood again. Yeah. Such an amazing place. And stoked to present all the gear to everybody. Yeah. The third day, um, but the show's gone well for you. The show's been going well, yeah. We got very good response. Um, obviously, you know, uh, three years in now, and we, you know, people like the gear. So shops are happy with, you know, how it goes, and clients are happy. And, you know, I, I love the. All the demos have been running and people are coming back with a smile and thinking they, they like the wings and the boards and the kites. It's just, that's, that's what drives me, you know? Amazing. And this is your uh, version number three? So yeah, that's um, collection number three out here. Um, we launched our uh, collection uh, in the spring. So right now it's September. So we're cool. st I'm still finalizing stuff for upcoming season. We have a little different um, launch timing than maybe some other brands, but I believe it's, I don't, I don't, I like it better. I like to uh, launch the gear when it's actually available and we can go out riding in the spring more than when the winter is coming, you know? Awesome, awesome. And uh, tell us about the, the supermodel. What, uh, what have people been loving about this guy? Um, I think the reason people love the supermodel is uh, uh, it's because we've really worked on like uh, making a kite that was as good as possible for uh, you know every disciplines mm -hmm. and uh, you know I've been designing for many years and I've learned over the years that if you make a good kite and you go and you improve for each aspect of, of kiting like you know trying to make it jump better mm -hmm. uh, on the twin tip then it makes it jump better when you're strapless right. uh, you try to make it ride better the waves by doing the you know better turning better pull through the turn uh, well it helps you jump higher to the twin tip mm -hmm. um, you make it drift better, so you ride waves better. It helps, ride, it helps your floating uh, riding. And to me, what's really important is how a kite feels, mm -hmm. how it turns. And when you switch discipline, you just need to switch your board. You know, you go from a twin tip to a wave board to a foil, and you're used to the same kite, the same way it flies. You know, the kite's up 25 meters in the air, mm -hmm. um, so it's not like the shape is in your way, like a windsurf sail, for example, where you ride a wave sail in the wave because a slalom sail would be too big. Right. Kiting is a whole different thing. It's up in the air. So to me, it's all about how it turns, how it flies, uh, you know, the deep power, the bar pressure, the bar feel. And there's no reason in my eyes that you should change kite when you change your, uh, your riding. So cool. the, really the goal is that. And then, and you can see it because, uh, you know, we have guys absolutely shredding strapless boards on that. And then you have Kevin, you know, Took second last year at King of the Air, mm -hmm. uh, won the um, Call Hawaii the year before on that kite, same kite, and then and then we have people teaching on it, and they still uh, they still love the kite. So that really the goal is really to make the kite as versatile as possible, and I I really know it's it's not it's not like a marketing thing I'm saying. It's really like I'm convinced about it. You know, mm -hmm. I go out kiting, I don't want to change my kite, and I'm I'm in Maui, I can kite. You know, twin tip, waveboard, foiling, I can do anything I want and I, I just change my board. And I believe that's, you know, what we all want to do, just make it simple. Yeah, simple and performance oriented at the same time. Um, yeah, for sure. So can you give us any little sneak peeks or uh, insight as to what little twi or things you're working on to try and uh, make the version 4? Uh, I'll see you in March when uh, when uh, when you get to test the kites. All right, I'll tell you that then. Trying to get us a sneak peek. Yeah. Your, your, your Still current, on the wraps. Your current version was like very much at the very very pinnacle top. I know. I was just wondering yeah, how yeah. you could make it better. Sometimes uh, it's like, how do we make a kite better? You know. There's so you know, for me, it's yeah. funny. Like every time I finish a design, I'm like, wow, I'm dry. There's no way I can do anything better. Like it's as good as it gets. Right. And I do. I work till. I would say not even the 11 hours, but I worked you know, 13 hours on yeah. my products. It's sometimes I'm to a fault. Yeah. Um, but you know, then I start writing the kite, I get input from people, and I'm like, oh, I gotta work on that, I gotta make that better. <laughs> and then suddenly everything becomes clear. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's funny, like uh, all the products we do, you know, like the, the whole line of boards, 
the the forwards, everything. I feel like there's always a way to improve, even though you think you're done and you're like, okay, it's as good as it gets. Right. But no, we, we keep on pushing. You know? That's what I love. That's, why, that's yeah. what keeps me awake all night to work on all my, my product and design, you know, just to make it all better. Well, we were pretty stoked uh, trying, trying this version when, I know, the sneak peek version I, when you snuck down to Hatteras with yeah. us uh, in the fall. No, I was stoked and, uh, to get yeah. that input from you guys. I'm always that, yeah. Like I said, that's what drives me when I see people telling me that they love the gear. That's, that's a good feeling. So we're expecting that again this year. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm definitely coming down to see awesome. you guys. Yeah, awesome. For sure, for yeah. sure. Because uh, we didn't, you left and I got some wave riding on uh, I know, yeah. your um, no brainer there, which was really cool too. Um, yeah, and and that no brainer, I've been stoked because uh, I kind of like redesigned it after spending time here in Hood River. Oh, yeah. You know, like because the yeah. it's choppy yep. water difference. So I was like, oh, I got to make it more forgiving in the chops. And I didn't really get back to Hood River until like this summer. But the board was, I, I knew the board was better because there's mm -hmm. chop in Maui. So I was sure. like, but then when we, I got to try it here a, a few months ago at the beginning of the summer, I was super stoked because it goes so well in the chop. So yeah. you can just load harder, go faster, jump higher because you get more speed, more control. So yeah, that board is really awesome. Cool. And the construction, as you yeah. know, things yeah, that, boards that don't break, strapless board that don't break is pretty awesome. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, we, we have, that's we that's light and those. responsive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it well, it's the, like the weight of a surfboard, but it's just uh, the uh, strength that's needed for a proper kiteboard. And you, where do you have those built? The, yeah, we the, make them in Europe. We make them in Portugal. Okay. Uh, all European source materials, the foam, the, the, the blank is a XPS foam, which doesn't take on water. So if you do a crack on it, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about it. You can keep on writing and then get it fixed later. Very cool. um, and they're all made in one shot, which means they're infused. Mm -hmm. So the, the bonding of the material and the, the top and top and top and bottom layer is just so superior. So the, those boards are just so much stronger than you know most construction that I've ever tried uh, before you know like I used to go through boards quite quick and now I haven't broken one yet very cool and you have another version or another yeah model. we have the super wave right. which is more like wave riding dedicated right. uh, cool. and it's a 5.5 five. and uh, yeah it's um, same for thing for, for big proper for wave. proper wave riding yeah yeah, yeah. but this does you know the no-brainer like the name to me, it was like, because it's like, yeah, whatever it's, the conditions, no brainer, I take that one. You know? Right, because it still has that nice narrow tail that you can really Yeah, and then we have the double rocker. Right. So you have like a flatter rocker when you ride flat straight, and then you move your back foot back, and you have the higher rocker, which helps for top turns, and also even flat water ollies. You know, you can, you can push the board higher, get the wind under, and then yeah. just do better jump, which is good for flat water freestyle, but also wave riding. The wave coming, water is dead flat in front, and you need to jump that white water. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the extra rocker, it's a little harder, and with the extra double rocker, it just goes up like that. It's actually the step tail, you know, the rocker is a little higher. Very cool. So, wh what's your typical quiver going down to the beach uh, on a wave day? On a w well, depending on the depending size of the, the wave, yeah. but most of the time, I'm going to just be on that minor brainer and. Yeah. If I'm on Maui, most likely I'm on my supermodel six meter or yeah. seven or right. five, depending on the day. <laughs> so windy, seven right? when it's light, you yeah. know, six when it's average, and five when it's actually strong on Maui. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm just exaggerating a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I know seven's also really strong, but we, we had strong wind. But yeah, that's gonna be my quiver. Very cool. For sure. And if I go to Hokipa, I'm definitely gonna be in a super wave. Like that's right. uh, yeah. that's the that's the way that's the board for like proper steeper waves. Nice. Where so um, well, thanks for taking us through that. Of course. Look forward to seeing you in the fall. Where yeah. can people find out more about Reading? Uh, so you can go on Reading.com to uh, get all the information about our gear. And then uh, most of our retailers also have a website. I'm not going to list them all, but we have a lot of uh, retailers. We uh, uh, got a good network here in the US uh, and Canada. We're uh, growing also. And then worldwide, we're in like 50 countries now. So Amazing. you can find us like in a lot of countries now. Very cool. So, yeah. Well, thanks so much. Hopefully we'll get out on the water today. For sure. It's so. picking up.